Welcome to Unit 2, Cleaning Up Raw Data. In this unit, we will look at the raw data again and do some basic formatting and formula exercises to clean up the data so it's ready for us to analyze. Now, we're going to be using some of the Excel skills you learned in Class 1 in terms of formulas and functions to clean up a raw data set that isn't exactly perfect yet for analyzing. A lot of times you'll get data from a database or from someone else in your company and it still has like extra characters or it's not, you know, filtered correctly. And you just have to kind of quickly massage the data a little bit to make sure it's ready for you to analyze. Because if you're trying to analyze data that's not correctly formatted or contains incorrect values, then that's not going to be useful at all, right? So we're going to do some quick... Um, just kind of tidying up the data before we actually analyze it. And this is a very common practice because sometimes when you get data from like a database that comes in a CSV format, it's not always gonna be perfectly formatted and you'll have to do a lot of formatting before the data is even ready to do any kind of crunching or analyzing or doing pivot tables and stuff like that. So the first step is if you look at the raw data set, you notice that in the campaign field, every single product has the word uh, has the word Acme and ampersand, right? Acme ampersand small wallet bowl, Acme ampersand recycled paper basket, Acme ampersand hand thrown stoneware. So we want to make sure that the campaign, the final data, doesn't have the Acme ampersand and then the product we just want to have the product so for instance in b2 i only want the words small walnut bowl i don't want the word i don't want all of acme and small walnut bowl together if that makes sense right so if we go back to the lesson plan we want to get rid of the word acme text in the campaign column right so how do we do this in excel we're going to use a formula that you'll probably come to use a lot when you're doing this kind of stuff. And it's called the mid formula. It's similar to left, which we talked about in lesson in class one, but it's a little more advanced and we'll, I'll show you how to do it right now. So <clears throat> our goal again is to find, is to get, get just the product name and not the word Acme, the company name. So I'm going to be in column M in cell M2, <clears throat> and I'm going to start typing in the mid formula here, equals MID, right? And then I'm going to hit left parentheses. And you'll notice that it takes in three arguments, three kind of input variables. It has, we have to input a text, which is the actual, val the actual text cell that we want to pull data from. Start num, which is the point in the the cell that we want to start taking values from and number of characters is how many values or characters we want to take from that cell once we've indicated a starting point. Now what I've said, it sounds kind of complicated. So let's just walk through how I would do this in Excel. So the first input again is the actual cell that we want the data from. So text, I'm going to select column or B2, excuse me. And notice that it was the B2. I'm going to put in comma. So start num. So this is where we want to start taking in the characters. So what that means is at what point in this cell do we want to strip out the characters, right? So you'll notice the letter A in Acme is, is uh, like starting point one. The letter C is starting point two. The letter M is starting point three. So if you notice a pattern, actually, let's just go back to the data here. The pattern in all this data is that Acme ampersand is all is prefixes all the products. And so when does the product name actually start? So if we double click on the cell, if I count the number of time, number of characters it takes to get to the product name, we'll see what the start number is. So again, we know A is one. So let's move over to column uh, the, the product name. So one, two, three, four four, five, six, seven. So that means that all the product names start in position seven of every single one of these cells, right? We know that everything before, call, 
position seven, we don't want that data because it's the Acme ampersand um, text, right? So let's go back to our mid formula equals MID left parentheses. I'm going to take this cell again, B2 comma, and we, we found out that seven is a starting point for where the text starts, right? So I'm going to type number seven again, and then write comma again. And number of characters, this is how many characters you want to pull after the position seven. So, you know, small walnut bowl, it looks like it's about, you know, 20 or so characters. We don't want to, we want to be conservative and just try to pull as many characters, characters as possible. So I'm going to put like, you know, 50 here just in case. Because let's say I put in the number 10 here. If I put the number 10, I put right parentheses. I'm only going to be pulling the first 10 characters of that cell. And I might not pull all the characters that I want. So if I press enter here, you'll see that the value is just small wall. And it, it omitted like the walnut bowl text. So that's why you want to be conservative and just say, you know, 50 or even 100. Let's do 100. Just to make sure we pull all the stuff afterwards. So you'll see what Excel did. It took all the text starting at uh, position 7 of B2 and took everything afterwards. And in this case, it's just the words small walnut bowl. And so we have our formula now. So let's copy this all the way down to all the cells below in column M. Because we want to make sure we get the product name for all these cells, right? Not just for the first cell, first row, but for every single product, right? So I'm just going to drag and drop. And we have about 300 or something right there. Well, drag, I dro I'm, I'm dragging and dropping, let go. And there you go. So if I go back to the list, you'll notice that I have all the product names, uh, all the product names set up. And actually, I think we need to make this a number eight just to be safe. Yeah, so seven actually is when, seven actually counts the space here. So let's see. One, two, three, four, five, six. Yeah, seven is a space. So the number here should actually be eight. So let's do eight. Sorry about that. I'm going to do eight. I'm going to fill this down. We learned about fill down, fill formula down in, in class two. So now we have just a product name. And we want to replace column B with column M, right? So I'm going to do a paste special values, which is uh, a keyboard shortcut we learned in class two, and it's also a function we learned in class one, but I want to replace everything in column B so I don't have the Acme name anymore. So I'm going to select this data, all of it, all the way down to row 347, do a command C, and now I have everything selected as you can see with the ants marching around the selection. I'm going to move over now to B2, and I'm going to paste special, which is again command control V. And then command V for values, enter. And there you go. Now our column B has only the product name and no more Acme uh, company name. And now I can just delete all of column M because I did that just primarily for uh, using the mid formula. So there you go. I've correctly cleaned up the data a little bit here. Now let's go back to the lesson plan and see what else we have to do in terms of formatting. Um, we want to add dollar signs to the budget and cost columns and also add a percentage uh, a percentage uh, character to the click-through rate um, column. And so this is, again, just to make your data look a little better. I want to go back to Acme. I'm going to select, um, oh, it looks like it's already correctly formatted. But let's, let's make budget have only one... Um, one decimal point. I'm going to do format cells and go to number. I'm going to go to currency. I'm going to do only one decimal place here. Enter. Click through rate. I want to have no, I don't want to have any kind of decimal, uh, percent, decimal place, excuse me. Command one for format cells again. I'm going to do zero decimal places. And again, this is just kind of to format your data so it looks right because sometimes you'll get, for instance, cost per click. There's no um, formatting around it, you know, sometimes there's one decimal place, sometimes there's two. Let's make this all have a dollar format and also have two decimal places. 
So let's select all this data, format cells, currency, two decimal places, okay? And there you go. Now this looks a little easier to play with the data once you have it all nicely formatted. So this lesson was all about just cleaning up your data set once you have the data. Uh, again, it's not always, when you get raw data, it's not always gonna be perfect. Sometimes you have to do text to columns. Sometimes you have to do the mid formula I talked about. And other times it's just a matter of uh, cleaning up the formatting in terms of number formats and adding decimal places, et cetera. And so that wraps up lesson two. And in lesson three, we'll move on to actually doing some analysis.